Well, good morning. Another sunrise with Pastor Hayton here. I want to share just a few minutes with you again because I enjoy sharing a little bit of my thoughts and a little bit of my heart with you each day. I wonder if you really enjoy giving gifts. I think God kind of gave the example of gift giving. He said, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Jesus came as a gift. And, of course, we know that he also gave the gift of the Holy Spirit. Christ returned back to heaven. We know that uh, we view the Holy Spirit as a gift of God to uh, live within our hearts and to uh, help us along life's way to heaven. And uh, God has given us his Son and his Spirit. And he also gives us numerous blessings each day, blessings that we don't ask for oftentimes and blessings that we don't deserve, uh, blessings that we don't expect. I just think of how many gifts God gives us from day to day that come as a complete surprise. Now, we love to receive gifts, do we not? I think that uh, any occasion, whether it be Christmas time or birthday or anniversary, uh, we like to receive gifts. And I think that most of us, at least I hope you have discovered along with me, that it's really more blessed to give than it is to receive. And if you're blessed by receiving gifts, think of how much more blessed you can be by giving a gift. Now I want to encourage everybody that's listening to me today to give someone a gift. Now you may say, well, I'm really short on, on the money right now. Just don't have much money to go out shopping for someone a gift. Uh, maybe you say, I don't really have time to go find anybody a gift today. Got a little money in my pocket, but man, my schedule is full and I just don't have time to go out and shop for a gift. There's just a lot of reasons we can think that we cannot give anyone a gift today or in the next day or so. But I want to encourage you to give a gift that everybody can give if we just make up our mind to do it. And that is the gift of our time. Now, I'm a busy guy. I was thinking earlier today, now I'm on to 70 years old, my life ought to be slowing down, but it seemed like that I find things to keep busy and I enjoy being busy. I thank God for every ounce of energy I have. Thank God for the ability to do things that I like to do and things that I need to do. Thank God for the strength that he gives me to pastor my church and to prepare messages. And I just thank God that, that I'm an energetic sort of guy and that I keep busy. I utilize my energies and it pretty well takes up my day. But I was thinking I really need to take out of my schedule some time to give to someone as a gift. And it came to my mind, we have a gentleman in the nursing home that I've neglected recently. I haven't been up to see him for quite a while. And any time I go to visit Angel, why, it always uh, brightens his day. I mean, I walk into the room and his face lights up. And the last words that he always says when I'm leaving, thank you for coming to see me, Pastor. And I realize that it's easy sometimes to neglect those that are shut in and those that, uh, you know, we just kind of put from our mind because we are so busy with other things. But I think you can surely give an hour or so uh, to somebody that would appreciate a visit. Give them a gift of your time. I intend to do that in the next day or so. I really do. I believe that it's something that I can do. It won't cost me any more than, than just uh, the, the amount of gas that it takes to get up to the uh, home where he resides. And I think that's a gift that I can give. It's a gift of my time. You may say, well, I don't know anybody in the nursing home. I don't know anybody that's really shut in. I've heard it said that there are people that will actually go into a nursing home and they'll ask the charge nurse who is there in this home that never or very seldom has a visitor and they'll generally be able to name off quite a few uh, residents in a nursing home, shut-ins and, and the infirm and the elderly that uh, very seldom have a visitor. And you know I believe that it wouldn't hurt us to go into a, a facility such as that and if you don't know anyone there, ask the nurse, who is it that really needs a visitor today? Take a little bouquet of flowers with you or a little box of cookies or something like that and give the gift of your time 
to somebody that would really enjoy just a few minutes of your time. I guarantee you that there are more people that would enjoy the gift of your time more than they, more than they would enjoy a gift of money, more than they would have enjoy a temporal gift. Just give the gift of your time. I intend to make a greater effort to take time out of my busy schedule and maybe to forego some of my own selfish pursuits and give more gifts of my time. May God help us to be a blessing because we simply are willing to give a gift of time. May the Lord bless you today and I hope that you will listen to what I say and brighten someone's day by giving them the gift of a little bit of your time. Heavenly Father, you've given us so much. You bless us in so many ways. You walk down throughout life's journey, and you certainly, Lord, as the psalmist has said, you daily loadeth us with benefits. Pray that thou would help us to realize there are so many that we might be a blessing to with just a gift of time. So, Lord, help us to be willing to sacrifice some of our time that we might make a gift to somebody that we can be a blessing to. And go with us throughout another day of life, Lord. Help us to love and to serve Thee. We pray and we ask it in Christ's holy name. Amen. Well, I just want to share that with you today. I hope that you'll take to heart what I had to share. See you tomorrow on Sunrise with Pastor Hayton. Goodbye.